There's a pretty clean New Holland BR770. That's a five foot wide. It's a five five foot wide, five foot tall bale. You can make it five foot wide and four foot tall. It's a variable chamber, so you can make whatever diameter you so choose. We did go through and had, actually had all the belts out of this baler and cleaned them up and made them all the same length. Cleaned up all the lacings. Pretty good tires. You see the bale kicker, the bale ejector, bale ramp. There's those power driven coring rolls that helps get you the core started on these New Holland balers. Really good paint. Pretty straight sheet metal. The very front of it's got a little bit of a, or the, the lid on the front. Not quite as nice as those side panels. Here we're gonna, we're gonna kick, there's your twine tie there. You saw the twine arms come down and they're gonna gradually move their way back to the home position. You can adjust the speed of these twine arms. It's actually by moving the belt on pulleys. It's a real simple mechanical adjustment. So you can increase that so you're not putting some, you can pull how much twine you pull on the back. You see these twine arms as they come to the home position, the twine will saddle in on that knife right there. And in just a second you'll see that knife go close with the cut the string. Right there, it just cut the string. And now you can go ahead and leave the PTO run and kick your bail out. There's the drives on the left hand side of the baler. The bearings seem to be good, the ones you can see anyway, chains are okay. And here's the drives on the right hand side. Pretty nice New Holland BR770, 5 foot wide, up to 5 feet in diameter. Twine tie, we're going to have this on our lot.